The latest release of Kali Linux has an interesting bug in the user interface. Let's go over what it is and how I fixed it. Earlier today, when I was setting some preferences inside of the terminal emulator, I noticed that there was a widget style that I could change. And I said, hey, let's try out Qt5ct style. When I selected that, Unfortunately, when I applied that, it modified the font to use a font which was no longer supported, even though it was included because of a simple mistype in the name of the font. And what had happened was the font package maintainers had not updated or made the change and pushed it to the Linux repo, which Linux, Kali Linux was not responsible for this font. So they didn't really understand, they didn't have any idea it happened. So basically what was going on was we now had a font that didn't exist under this Qt5c style, which would then try and render as the terminal font. Well, what would happen is if you applied it and clicked okay, all of a sudden your entire setup would shift and change. You'd lose half your screen, there'd be a screen split, your characters would be all smashed, and something funny would be going on. Well, you'd go back into preferences and you'd say, hey, I wanna change back out of this. So you'd go back to system default, but you'd notice the font wouldn't change. So you'd go to change font and you would select the font and it was a Ferrari code font that was mistyped in there. So you would select a different one and you'd say, I want to use free mono or I want to use hack and you click OK. It wouldn't change and it wouldn't allow you to change. So basically what would happen is every time you would exit, any preference changes you would make would then just be disregarded and it would default back to the original because there was an error in the config file. At least I think that's how it was happening. Normally, one would just be able to open up your config file for QTerminal and modify it and you would go down to the font family as you see right here and font size and you could just modify these settings. Sure, why not? Tried that, gave it a, a write, went ahead, modified those. However, the moment I would exit out, it would just default back to the standard font theme. And what I had figured out was that inside the Qt5 configuration tool, it had the general font and the fixed width font both set to the incorrect font name that didn't exist. So what I actually ended up going and doing was I went in and I specifically set a style fusion with a custom color theme and changed the fonts all manually inside here, making sure my browser window was closed before I did it, modified the font theme, modified the interface a little bit to my liking, didn't mess with the style sheets or anything else. And after doing that and finally getting it to keep the settings, then I was finally able to go in and open up my terminal emulator where my preferences were changed. And then upon selecting system default, it finally modified and allowed me to change my font. So hopefully that helps somebody. I spent about three hours troubleshooting that, trying to figure out why it was doing that and how it was doing that. And it all comes down to the fact that the font type that was included in this updated version of Kali had a mistype in the repo and it wasn't corrected. And so therefore, if you let the default selection use that font when selecting the Qt5c style, it would break the config. Hopefully that helps. Sorry for the long video, but I figured someone might wanna somebody might want to know how to do that. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, take care. Hope you enjoyed.